essentially, um, the goal of using this framework is to help us achieve a purpose. Um, so in the center of the circle, we put the purpose, and then around it, we, we develop what are those key questions you need to answer to fulfill that purpose, and then coming out, once we know the questions, it's, hey, what tools can we use to achieve that purpose? And then finally, what is the impact we'll have after we achieve that purpose? Um, so know that a lot of nonprofits are very mission driven. So we've got a mission that we're trying to achieve in the world, but then we also have a lot of mini initiatives that we're trying to move forward. Um, so uh, the goal here is to have an opportunity to, to play with a framework and to hopefully get, get some answers. Um, so the, the idea here is that we'll have um, a couple of nonprofits who have um, you know graciously um, volunteered to um, be be bringing forward a purpose and to have um, our colleagues in the room kind of work through and workshop with them. So I'm going to give a couple couple more examples to walk through it. Um, oops. Okay. That's weird. I had like some... You know what? I bet you just have to refresh it. Okay, because I had more. So there was more that I added. I wonder yeah. if we just... Uh, Cookie? Okay. Okay. You wanted to go to the next one? Okay. All right. So all right. All right. purpose, the, the, just, to re, just to frame this really clearly, purpose is what is the purpose of this initiative, key questions, what are the key questions to, we're asking, the service of the purpose, the tools are what tools you can use to achieve your purpose, and then the impact is what are the impacts you will see when the initiative is rolled out. So that's kind of building outward. Um, so this is an example of um, a, a mandala about um, gathering, gathering nonprofits together. So the purpose is to create a space for conversation and connection to facilitate learning and generate impactful actions in the nonprofit community. So that's like the purpose of being here and gathering together. And then what are some of the questions we are answering to, to achieve this purpose? Um, so we've got, you know, what are nonprofits looking to learn? What are some strategies for event facilitation we can, we can bring forward? What did we learn from past events? Who we can we collaborate with? Where do we promote the event? How can we increase participation? And what is the schedule and flow of the day? And then some of the tools. We can send out a survey. We can have brainstorming meetings. We can reach out to our network. Um, we can analyze the survey and see what people want to talk about. Um, then we can identify subject matter experts. Um, and then we can get supplies like pens and notebooks because that's going to help us kind of facilitate conversation. Um, and we can have lunch, and we can get pizza and coffee, and we can have you know networking going on. So those are some of the tools, right, that we can use. And then what is the impact? So we can create our conversations, leading to inspired action. We've got new connections formed. We were, we've got strategies and tactics that we're like learning how to apply and seeing how other people did that. Um, we got a community that feels excited, that feels like they're not the only one in their org that's struggling with the same issues. There's other people out there, and then um, we've got solutions and ideas that are generated. And um, you know, hopefully, people are finding the event valuable. So this is just an example of one that I, that that I've, I've walked through. Um, but but the concept is that um, you know we're gonna we're gonna come to the table and, and sort of have this as a conversation and actually work on you know drawing this out and then having a conversation at the table about brainstorming where we can fill out in the in the different layers. Um, so oh, okay. Um, so so this is um, so maybe I'll I'll, I'll go back here. Um, and, um, and I'm just going to walk through, we've got three organizations who have agreed uh, to, to do this. Um, we do have space for a fourth or we can roll with three. So if anyone else feels like they have a purpose, they want to get workshopped, now is the time to raise your hand if you're not already, if you haven't already volunteered. So any last minute people? All right. So it is an opportunity for some free consulting from all these big minds in the room. but. Um, we will we'll move forward with um, the um, amazing team that we have so far who's agreed to be a part of this. Um, so we have um, Claudia over here from the Humane Society of America. United States. Oh, the United States. Okay, sorry. Humane Society of the United States. Um, and then we have Cecilia in the back, and she's um, with Race Forward. And then we have Karen and John, and they are from the Physicians Committee for Responsible Medicine. 
Um, so I think what we'll do is um, we'll, we'll just kind of count off around the room, one, two, three, and then that will be how we'll, how we'll form our groups. Um, and so we'll have, um, we'll have one be Claudia, two uh, be with Cecilia, and then three will be with Karen and John.